Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys how to install 613 hair guys for darker skin tone girls, for black girls in general because I have some tips and tricks in this video on how to melt your lace with no baby hairs at all. So if you guys are interested in seeing how to install this hair, make sure you guys stay tuned and yeah, let's get started. You're going to want to go in with your foundation the same color you're wearing on your skin and focus it on your wig cap the reason for this is so it can mimic your scalp and so you don't see your hair color through the frontal okay <laughs> trust me i don't really wear wig caps with my black darker wig so this is something this is just a little extra step that i have to do when it comes to um, lighter wigs and i just focus the foundation in the front part of my head where i'll i will be parting my hair instead of all around the wig cap okay and that's what you guys are going to want to do okay so what i'm doing now is i'm going to be gluing down the cap now i usually don't even wear wig caps when it comes to wearing my wigs especially with my darker hair but since this is such a light hair color i'm gonna have to do this ball cap method because my hair would be showing through it and it just wouldn't give like of a seamless look so you guys are gonna want to have to go in with the ball cap method i highly recommend you guys doing that i tried doing it without it it didn't work <laughs> so i'm going with got to be freeze spray okay i'm not going to be having this wig in for a long time probably just for a few hours so that's why i'm going in with this lace adhesive you guys can go in with a much stronger lace glue if you're going to be wearing or you want to wear the wig for a long time so as you can see i am putting a lot okay <laughs> and then i'm gonna go in with drying the wig cap now i put i think two layers i put two layers of the got to be spray but i'm not going to show it in this video but i just want to show you guys that i did and i went in with a blow dryer you guys use any blow dryer that you have if you have a 15 dollar blow dryer use the 15 dollar blow dryer it's not a big deal use anything that you have i'm going to link down below got to be spray and the blow dryer if any of you guys want to purchase it on the internet and if you guys don't want to go to your like local beauty supply store or walmart to buy any of these products oh and i also dried the cap on like cool heat i didn't do it on hot heat I'm going in and cutting off the ball cap, as you guys can see, and I'm just adjusting it so it can fit my head. I'm just cutting off all the excess lace that I'm not going to need. I'm also making holes for in the ear, so the cap can sit on my head really well. Okay, and I got these scissors from the beauty supply store. I'm going to link them down below if I can find them online. They are American-based companies, so hopefully I could find it online. It's from the brand Annie. They're just hair scissors. They're seven inch hair scissors, hair shears. I'm going to be placing the wig on my head. And you guys want to place the wig and pull it as far as you can on your head that it's covering the ball cap number one and that it's fitting really nice. And then next, you guys are just going to want to go in and make your parting. Okay, I'm doing a middle part. And I'm also just going to actually just spray the got to be on my head on the lace without cutting the lace yet. Okay, and that's what you guys want to do. I'm going to spray like on the hairline, but then I'm going to spray a little bit behind it as well. On the hairline, a little bit behind it. On the hairline, a little bit behind it. That's so everything's being glued. I'm just going to use the comb here and ensure that all of this is being pressed into <laughs> the scalp. I'm going back in with the blow dryer on like cool heat. Okay, so basically I'm repeating the same steps as I told you. So I put the got to be blow dry and then I use the comb to put it through so this is how the hair line looks just being glued down okay as you can see it looks good okay and then i made sure that i used the comb um and comb through the hair so it gives that look as you can see on my hairline okay since we're not doing baby hairs it takes off like a lot of time but now we're gonna go in with our hair scissors and we're gonna cut the lace right here so i'm just gonna cut the ear tab so that's what you guys want to just do right now it just basically going with the same old process I'm cutting the lace. So I'm cutting as close as possible to my ear. Guys, guess what? Actually, when I began gluing down my wigs like this, it actually reduced me from messing up my hairline when I'm cutting it because I'm starting off with cutting the ear tabs and I can actually see what I'm cutting. Before, I used to cut way too far back, so I really like this method, and hopefully you can try it out and see if you like it too. Now, this hair, I noticed this blonde is more of like... A blonde closer to white so if you're if you're someone who likes blondes that are more on the white end of the spectrum okay so we're just gonna um, fix up these detailing here as you can see now when it comes to cutting lace on my head I always cut it straight it's like so difficult for me to cut lace on my head in a jagged motion motion 
that's why I always like cutting my lace on a mannequin head and then putting it on my head because I can easily do the jagged look that I always want. And then I'm just gonna cut some of this off as well. So make sure you cut your lace as close to the hair line, okay? You're gonna thank me later. <laughs> and guys, um, I usually do glueless wigs install, so if you're someone who likes glueless wig installs, that's my channel for you. Okay, do you guys see how there's this white line across my face? We're gonna fix that. That's what a lot of people are afraid to deal with when it comes to blonde. 613 hair. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my got to be free spray once more. I'm just gonna spray the hairline. I feel like I can cut more, but we're just gonna spray the hairline, okay? With just a little bit of glue and pushing it in on my hairline, okay? And you can use either a comb or your finger and just push it in while you're doing this. We're gonna do it on um, this side and the next side, okay? You're gonna go in with your foundation color and you're gonna put the foundation color at the edge of the lace, okay? The same foundation that you're wearing, we're gonna put at the edge of the lace to blend it in. So that's all I'm doing. Put my foundation at the edge of the lace. I'm doing it so delicate so I don't get it really in the hair. You know what I noticed when I was doing, like cutting this lace off, is that this closure, I'd even, I did not use a hot comb to it yet and it's so flat already. I was so surprised, I was like, wait, I'd even put a hot comb yet and look how flat. Okay, this is what we're gonna do now, okay? Like. And next, get spritz and spray it on your hairline and use a brush just to push it in. Then I'm gonna go in with mousse. I'm gonna put mousse. Whoops. I'm gonna put mousse on your hair and on your hairline. Okay. Okay, and then we're gonna tie down our hairline. So this is gonna help melt in the hairline into our skin. Okay, so this is how it looks. You can get the sewing elastic at fabric stores. They're super affordable. Okay, I'm gonna go in with some hair gel. I'm just gonna rub, well, hair paste actually. I'm just going to rub this in and just put it at the top just to pull down flyaways. I'm just using, using Morphe's Osin hair wax gel. So you just want to go in with the hair wax gel. And you just want to tame your flyaways if you have any. Okay, so now it's time for the final moment of reveal. So I'm just taking off the elastic off my head slowly. And bam! That's how it looks. Just ignore the line across my head because that's what happens when you have the elastic band tight on your head. But it, essentially, the elastic band literally melts the lace into your head. That's how you install 613 hair. The only thing is, you can probably see like just the, the print of the elastic on my skin. And that's why I always tell you guys, go in with the same color as your foundation because it's gonna blend in more and melt it more, way more into your skin. I have to show you guys a close-up of this after. Yes, is there shedding? Yes, there is shedding, shedding, but what 613 here does not shed. Okay, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys like it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. You like how this install looks. Okay. This hair reaches me, like, in between my bum. <laughs> and I'm 5'7", by the way. It's super thick. I didn't really straighten this hair, but I'm going to dye this hair and like curl it and all that. I feel like it will look really good if you do that instead of having just straight hair, especially because this hair is so thick. I feel like curls in it would look really good. The only thing is I noticed is when I was when I was using the hot comb for the top of the hair, I noticed like like some hairs like burnt off. I don't know if it's because I had product in the hair and then I ran the hot comb through it. They give you a lot of hair in the bundles too, especially for the long lengths that I received. That's it for today's video, guys. I hope you liked it and I'll see you guys in my next one. Also, I have a lot more hair tutorials on my channel if you're interested in tutorials similar to this. Have a look, okay? Go subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Au revoir. Bye. But here's some more videos if you want to watch.